Okay, many of you will recognize this face, but not all of you will recognize this face. You are going to <laughs> notice a change that was nicely done. You're going to notice a change this summer because our good pal Piacetta Padai is going to leave us, sadly, because you're getting your own program on CBC Radio. Indeed. So congratulations Thank are in you. order for that. What's up with that, incidentally? What do you mean, what's up with it? Uh, what's the show about? What's oh, the, what's the show about? You got a title? Uh, I, I, I cannot reveal any of these details yet. We're deep into development. It okay. is going to be a, a radio show on CBC Radio across the country. One sort of umbrella topic uh, once a week for one hour. And so we're going to dig in to one issue, look at it from uh, many perspectives. Not tied to the news, which I think surprises um, some people only because that's, I think, how people sort of see me. Tied more to the zeitgeist, the kinds of things you and I are talking about that we don't always see reflected in the media. Good. Okay. Yeah. But you are still going to be around here from time to time. Can't get rid of me, pal. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. However, because you've got those new responsibilities at CBC, we have the joy of welcoming Nam here. Yay. This is Nam Kiwanuka. Hi. Nam, what's your full first name? Namagini. And what does that mean? I've been told that it means moving up in the world. And you are. I, well, it's weird. I'm trying to keep my composure, but I'm sitting beside Pia, and I'm st sitting beside Steve. And my husband said to me, don't be a dork, because you're going to embarrass all of us. It's good advice. It is good such saying, a trip. Generally. But it's such a trip to be here, because I came to Canada as a refugee, and I grew up watching TVO, like, uh, Pokeru and Doctor Who, and then now to be sitting here and to be a part of it is just so trippy. I you, just want to not just be sitting still and trying to be serious. You came to Canada how long ago? Um, maybe 20 years ago. From where? Uganda. So the word in Uganda that mm -hmm. is your first name. Yeah. It means, I've been told it means moving up in the world. And it's in what language? Uh, Luganda. Luganda. Yes. Okay. Just so you know, I came here from Saskatoon. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I've known you for a long time. I know you. And you've reported all over the world. Yeah, I know this yeah, about you. Yeah. My yeah. parents are Indian immigrants. So, you know, we're, we're representing the diversity that is uh, our province and our country. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now, Nam, you are taking over for Pia yes. doing the summers, right? Yeah. And are you starting to shoot stuff already? Uh, yes, them? we've had a few interviews, uh, talking to authors, uh, talking to intellectuals. And it's great for me because I love learning. Um, there's a lot that I don't know. So being a part of this show, it means that I get to learn and I get to do it at work. And reading, I actually read my first book, full novel, uh, for the first time in three years because I've hmm. got two small kids. So that's oh, a treat okay. for me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. joy. How many summers have you done here now? So four out of five, mm -hmm. uh, because one year I was uh, pregnant and yes. off having children. So four out of five. Is then what four to five. So yeah. you, uh, between the two of us, we ought to have a lot of good advice for Nam on how to handle the summers. Yes. We ought to. Yes, we ought now, to. Now, whether we do is another question. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for her? Uh, well, learn to read faster. <laughs> yes, that's it. You, 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 you read a lot of books, books for these summer books, interviews. Books. I think I've explained, you know, somewhere between 22-ish and 30. So it's a lot of books. Yeah takes a long time. Um, don't try and be pagan. And I don't, I mean that in the nicest of ways because everyone walks in big shoes, you know, really good at his job. And the first shower, I'm like, I'm gonna be the like, East South Asian version of Steve Pagan. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't work. Be yourself. You got tons of personality. Cover stuff you're interested in. Have fun. It's summer. So the tone of the show, for people who have watched it, we know this. Um, it's a little bit different than the regular season. Yeah. People are watching in different ways. So. It's a little less death and destruction and you can be sort of a little more you can chill a bit, eh? Isn't mm. that, is that a Yeah, you get these chairs, you get to yeah. kind of settle in. A more relaxing. Not a big desk in front of you. Do you, do you, can you read fast? I I'm can, I read too fast. I actually have to slow down my speaking because when I'm trying to put my kids in a timeout, it's like, do it now or I'm going to lose my temper. So um, it's really exciting. And I actually met with Pia last week and we had coffee and you were great. You gave me a lot of great advice. And everybody here has been fantastic. I think the first time I met you, I was like, oh, you're Steve Pinkin. Like, you don't and know I think I are. already knew that. Yeah, I think you yes. knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a delight to have you here. Thank you. And, um, I hope you're not going to be a stranger. I like I know you're around. not. I know you're not doing summers anymore, but you know, but from you, you time get to time, you go away every now and from again. From time to and time, I, I sometimes I got to go to Laurentian and do my thing up there, and yeah. you're always wonderful to fill in and and um, you know. Shall continue. Good. But I'm sad to be departing in the summers, but uh, Good. you know, your world evolves and changes. Indeed, and, and I look forward to hearing your show on the radio. When's Thank it starting? Uh, I and you know I would say sort of in a couple of months soon. We don't have a firm launch date. There's a lot, building shows is what I've learned. There's a lot of stuff exactly. that needs to get done. So stay so, tuned, in other words. Stay tuned. I'll okay. let you know. Pia, Nam, great to have you as part of the whole TVO family. Thank you. Thing. This is where Thank I you. hand over the baton from TV wife number four to TV wife number five, Mr. Pakin. Oh, boy. That's just oh, I like sounding... lattes in the morning, that... just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> that's all sounding too scary. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. 
Stay tuned this summer for the Agenda in the Summer with Nam Kiwanuka. That's great. And we'll see both of you hosting segments between then and now. So, good stuff, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit supporttvo.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.